After we draw our bones for our character, we need to fix a local rotation axis for all of the bones. So we first need to grab all of our joints. This can be done by selecting the root joint and going up to Select and Hierarchy. Or you could also go to Select, All by Type, and Joints. Now we need to go up to Display transform display and then local rotation axis and you'll see that when you draw these that they don't always necessarily have the same orientation so you'll see that they kind of change now and then and it's our job to fix these which is not too bad but we have to do it So in order to be able to select these and adjust them, we have to come up to the top and we have to choose the Select by Component Type. Then we also need to turn on the little question mark, which is Select Miscellaneous Components. This allows me to actually highlight the orientation of all the joints. Now the current orientation is fine, and I really don't want to mess it up. So rotating it haphazardly is a horrible idea. But we can control this rotation. If we come up to our tools up at the top, we can open that up and I can choose my rotate tool. And there's a step snap, which is turned off. We can change it to relative here. And I'm gonna switch, instead of 15 degrees, I'm gonna type in 90. This prevents me from rotating a handful of degrees, and it will only rotate at 90 degree increments. That way, for example, I can grab something like this root joint, and I can rotate it 90 degrees so that it matches up with the spine. It goes through the bone, and then Y sticks out, Z points out back. And that's the way the next several joints are for the spine. But you'll notice here, this one isn't oriented that way. So I can rotate it until it matches up with the others. And I'll keep going. It gets a little confusing when the joints bend because they're officially going the appropriate direction. But for example, Z should be pointing back. So let's go ahead and rotate that. Same with this one. Z should be in the back. Now the arms should be the same way. Here Y goes back. My wrist, Y goes back. Take a look at my fingers. I'm not as concerned specifically about the fingers aligning with the arm, but all the fingers should be aligned in the same orientation. And here it looks like they are, so I'm going to leave that. Although it looks like this one here, we could rotate this up. X, inward. Check the other arm. Make sure all the fingers on the other side are all oriented in the same direction. Looks like it. It doesn't matter if the arms are different. So for example, Y is facing one direction one way on one arm and backwards on the other arm. That's okay. Uh, that's just because we mirrored it. That's fine. But we do want to make sure the entire branch is all aligned up. So now we'll take a look at the feet. Right. 
And then when we're done, we can turn off the question mark, and then we can switch back to the Select by Object Type icon up at the top. And we can also go back to Display, Transform Display, and Local Rotation Access. That'll turn those off so you don't have to stare at them.